mass shooting near the city's Migrant Resource Center has some concern that crime in the area is becoming more violent. For months, police have been investigating prostitution, counterfeit documents, and theft. The News 4 I team's Jay Avila uncovering some of the cases have been linked to a notorious Venezuelan gang. Teams of detectives that are working the area around the Migrant Resource Center have encountered individuals with distinctive tattoos featuring things like a nautical compass, an eye, a rose, a clock face, all associated with a Venezuelan gang called Tren de Aragua, which is known for human trafficking and violence. Martin Garcia moved his gift and decor business to another part of town recently. His previous location was near the Migrant Resource Center on San Pedro, but he says loitering, panhandling, and emerging crime prompted him to relocate. I was very concerned for the safety of my employees. Um, now in my new location, it's not an issue. City leaders acknowledge there are additional patrols around the MRC, but say there hasn't been a spike in crime. Are we making arrests for crimes in that area? Sure, but we're not seeing a big spike because of the influx of people in that area. Police reports and internal police documents obtained by the I-Team refer to the area around the MRC as plagued with criminal activity, where Tren de Aragua gang members frequent to loiter, traffic narcotics, and sell stolen goods goods near the businesses. Are we seeing more of the Venezuelan gangs, for example? We've had contact with them, yes. In late December, two Venezuelan immigrants were arrested by SAPD for allegedly stealing items from numerous stores at North Star Mall, a few blocks from the MRC. The arrest report says both had criminal records in other cities, and one had tattoos affiliated with a violent Venezuelan gang. Two other Venezuelan men were arrested for counterfeit social security cards and other documents. One had gang affiliation tattoos and had previously been ordered for deportation, according to a police report. Retired Homeland Security agent Adi Jimenez says in other countries like Chile and Peru, Tren de Aragua members started with minor crimes but quickly took over territory from other gangs. They start assimilating and getting involved and then they took over. They're like a cancer. SAPD's Human Exploitation Unit has made numerous prostitution arrests at local motels. A police report says they target possible victims of human trafficking related to the city of San Antonio Migrant Resource Center. Jimenez says human trafficking is another crime Tren de Aragua has engaged in. However, it can be difficult for police to identify the gang's members. But we don't have a relationship with Venezuela, so there's no means to corroborate any criminal history with anybody coming from Venezuela. So we don't know how many there are. We don't know how many. We know the ones that they were able to identify based on tattoos, based on their own admissions. Jimenez says he's heard from law enforcement in places like Chicago and Florida looking for help dealing with this new threat. For the News 4i team, I'm Jay Avila.